Planck's constant is one of the most fundamental, most important numbers there is in all of science. I'm going to go there, not just physics, but all of science. Planck's constant is fundamental because Planck's constant is the gateway to quantum mechanics. This is the, the number that represents quantum mechanics. And it's important to remember that this number was not born from some elegant theory or some desire to weave together this coherent picture of the universe at, you know, at small scales, blah, blah, blah. No, it was an ugly hack developed by Max Planck himself to explain some experimental results that no one else could explain. And he like took a crack at it. He's like, okay, I guess there's a fundamental constant in nature. I don't know. We'll go with it. And now Planck's constant is like this cornerstone. It's such an important number in physics and probably all of science. It has a very small value. It's a 6.626, you know, and a few more numbers, a times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. And don't worry about the units uh, for now. That's not super important for what I want to talk about. But this number represents the, the quantum scale. This number represents where quantum mechanics becomes important, where if you're at this scale, then you must care about the quantum. You, you must care about the quantum world. You can't ignore it. You can't get away from it. Up here in the macroscopic world with us waving our arms around and driving cars and, and having dinners and all that, this is at values of, of energy and time and momentum, they're so, 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 so much bigger than Planck's constant that up here we can basically ignore quantum mechanics. This is the, the world of classical mechanics because we're so much higher than Planck's constant. But as you get to smaller and smaller scales, smaller and smaller distances, lower and lower energies, the closer you come to Planck's constant, the closer you come to the quantum world. Now, there are other constants of nature. Planck's constant is not alone. There is, say, Newton's g, the gravitational constant. There is the speed of light. There is the Boltzmann constant, the Coulomb constant. You know, there's all these constants of nature floating around. And these constants, again, like how the Planck constant represents quantum mechanics, like this is the important number for quantum mechanics. Newton's g is the important number for gravity. The speed of light is the important number for light. These, these represent different kinds of physics. And so we like to play games where we combine different numbers, different constants, because it tells us where the physics intersects. It tells us where the, say, quantum mechanics meets gravity, meets light, you know, meets electricity, uh, meets statistical mechanics. Ooh, by putting these numbers together, we find where things intersect. So, for example, you can create things called the Planck units, where you take the Planck's constant and mush it together with other constants in various interesting ways to get some other things. So, for example... If you take Planck's constant, I'm reading from a table here, by the way. If you take Planck's constant, multiply it by Newton's gravitational constant, divide by the speed of light cubed, and then take the square root of the whole thing, you end up with a length scale. A number, a distance that is connecting Planck's constant, speed of light, and Newton's g. You can do the, a similar thing if you take uh, Planck's constant, multiply by the speed of light, divide by Newton's g, and then take the square root, you get the Planck mass. And you can do Planck time and Planck charge and Planck temperature and Planck density and on and on and on and on and on. And what these numbers represent are places in the universe where quantum mechanics meets gravity. And we're very, very interested in this because we don't understand the intersection between quantum mechanics and gravity. We do not have a quantum picture of gravity. We do not. We do not have a theory of gravity at very small scales. And when I say small scales, it's exactly these numbers that tell us when that's important. Planck's constant tells us when quantum mechanics is important. Newton's g tells us when gravity is important. You merge them together. This tells you where they're both equally important, where you can't ignore one in favor of the other. You can't just play in the quantum mechanics world. You can't just play in the gravity world. You have to play in the joint world. 
the numbers are very, very small, as you might expect. Like the plank length is like 1.6 times 10 to the minus 35 meters. That's a very, very small number. The plank mass is like 10 to the minus 8 kilograms. The plank time is 10 to the minus 44 seconds. This is small stuff, short stuff, tiny stuff, but it's important stuff. And so we care about these plank units, the distances and lengths and times, not because they're important in and of themselves. They don't carry any like super special physical meaning, but they're like gateway. They're like signs. They're signs that say, hey, by the way, if you want to go smaller than this number, if you want to examine distances smaller than this, you're going to have to care about both gravity and quantum mechanics at the same time. And since we are not currently able to care about quantum mechanics and gravity at the same time, that's a sign that's like, okay, we got to work on this. We got to develop some new theories to go past this, to go deeper than this, to get shorter than this, to get hotter than this, to get denser than this, all that stuff. It, this is the Planck units tell us where physics currently has a boundary. And that's why those numbers are important. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like and share, subscribe, leave a comment. I'd be happy to chat with you in the comments. Comments, And also go to patreon.com slash pmsutter so that you can keep this show on the air. Also go to pmsutter.com slash book because I wrote a book. It's available in bookstores nationwide and it is really fun.